What's going on team? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk through rowing and how we can be a better athlete when it comes to that machine. Now, the rower is probably the most common machine that you will see in qualifiers and in competitions. It's probably always going to appear during the CrossFit Open every single year. So how can we get better on it? You'll see lots of programs going through interval training and just trying to increase intervals each week. However, we don't often train our power output and try and work on becoming more effective with every single stroke. I want you to imagine one pull as one rep. During that rep, we pull with our arms and we also perform a squat with our legs. If I've got an athlete who is performing 22 strokes per minute versus one who is performing 30 strokes per minute, this athlete is performing eight reps more every single minute. Now, over the course of a 500, 750, 1000 meter uh, effort, they're gonna be performing more reps, they're using their muscles more often than the other athlete, and they're gonna fatigue much quicker. Now, by placing an emphasis on power output, we can then get more bang for our buck for every single stroke. So, despite this athlete who is doing 22 strokes per minute, doing perceived less reps, they are gonna get the same output if they are able to be nice and powerful with their strokes. Now, when it comes to the rower and setting this up, we wanna make sure that we can see the strokes per minute and also we're looking at our calories per hour. This is gonna be our measure of output. We could use wattage, but when it comes to our own training, we will often use calories as a measure during workouts. So we wanna look at our calorie output to work on building more power um, during this kind of training piece. A sample of this will be to perform one minute at 18 strokes per minute, one minute at 20 strokes per minute, and then the last minute at 22 strokes per minute. You'll rest for a minute, and then you're gonna repeat that for four rounds in total. Now this is gonna teach you how to control your strokes and how to be rhythmic in the way that you are approaching this rower. Using the strokes per minute to guide your pace, you're then gonna make sure that as we are pulling back on this rower, we're being really, really powerful with each pull, looking to get as high a cal per hour per stroke as we possibly can. If we run this format over a series of weeks, we're gonna notice that our power per stroke will increase and then we're able to apply that in workouts even under fatigue because we understand how we can make every single stroke more efficient and we can get more power every time we pull ourselves back. So by training the rower in that way, we're gonna become much more effective with every single stroke, and hopefully we're gonna be performing less reps during our efforts, which will save us energy and make us more efficient in an overall workout. If you have any questions on that, please make sure you drop me a comment below. I'll be happy to help. If you want more CrossFit training tips and mobility videos, make sure you check out the rest of the content on this channel, and also make sure you go and follow me on Instagram.